Okay, more and more families are switching to electric vehicles, trying to curb the cost of gas, I guess, and reduce emissions. Designer and mom of two, Tamara Robbins Griffith, back on the show to share some tips on, I guess, what to consider for road trips as some are making the switch. And this, this is an interesting conversation that we were having off camera because yeah. I am an EV owner. We right. we do have an EV, and we and we do love it. Yeah. Um, and then you're like, we're in the market. You're we're, in the market. We're kind of figuring out EV hybrid something to right. reduce the gas consumption. Um, and, and thankfully, like our car still runs, but we definitely need something. So I'm in the research mode. Um, and, and definitely for me, like we love to get out of the city for weekends and explore all over Ontario, especially during COVID when we weren't flying anywhere. Um, and Cadillac has an all new electric vehicle called Lyric. Okay. That's a really good car for family road trips. So you would know because you have an electric vehicle. So this vehicle has 502 kilometers of range. So that's a lot more than the earlier cars. That's on the a market, lot more than right? mine. So like that's because there is something for anybody out there. It's it's called range anxiety. Yes. It's, it's a thing. Right. Because like when you run out of battery, there's not a gas station to fill up. Yeah. It takes more time. You have to find. You have to know what to do. Well, honestly, because I've had mine go. for three years. Like yeah. I, in the back of my head, I know charging stations just all yes. over the place because yes. you just learn where they are yeah. and there's like the level twos and there's level threes, yes. the fast chargers. But when you have range, and this is what you're going to see with all these yeah. EVs, yeah. getting it's more exciting. range. It's exciting because it makes it more accessible, helps people kind of get over that hump and, and make that decision. So you can drive from Hamilton to Sudbury and still have 60 kilometers of range left or go to Sobble Beach and back with 80 kilometers of range. So the car has a navigation functionality as well that lets you know where when you need to stop and for how long so you can plan what to do maybe plan something fun for the kids and there's mm -hmm. also and i think more and more cars will have this too there's a my cadillac app so you can use the app to monitor your charge status plan your routes and find charging stations so you've memorized them because you know where well, to go but someone who's new you don't realize what what drains the battery and like the battery right. gets drained uh, for me, it's speed. Okay. It has nothing to do yeah. with like heat or you would think heat, air conditioning, yeah. all like radio, that type of stuff that drains the battery. Yeah. Speed is the biggest thing that drains That's the battery in my car. And also it also changes now that they were cooling down yes. weather. Right. So the battery in mine doesn't last as long because it's cold out. So you, you factor that in a little bit. So there's all these kind of the, yeah. the list. And I remember when we were thinking about doing it because there, I have a bit of a commute. Yeah. So then we did like a pros and cons yeah. of like what and I think that's what people need to do when they're yeah. when they're looking at it the, yeah. the pros and cons of what's the pro of having one and the cons of having yes. one. yes I look back on it now I would never go back because yeah. I don't know I just you don't worry about the gas prices yeah right? and you're you're getting used to it right so like you have something like this app that's going to tell make it easy to find your charging stations you're getting used to the car and kind of how long your charge lasts like that all helps but yeah. I mean I just think for for the average person they might think they don't know that these options are available. They don't know that there's these tools to help them, I guess. Um, so th the other thing is the price. A lot yeah. of people are concerned about because like, when, you, when you get a higher range, you're going to mm -hmm. be pay, paying a little bit more for it. So then there's other ways that you can look at it. Maybe, maybe a, this is a really nice vehicle. Right. Yeah. Maybe, maybe 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 it is a hybrid that you go. That's 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 another yeah, way to go. Yeah. I mean, there's lots of options on the market. I would say that in terms of this car, in terms of lyric, it's like you're getting a beautiful car that has everything you'd want from a beautiful car. There's certainly different price points on the market, but and then it just happens to be an all electric vehicle, right? Yeah. Um, because we do, because we still have a, we have a van, we have two cars. Yeah. So that one is a, we still do pay gas prices for one, yeah. but then you get used to like not yeah. doing it and yeah. you like to get into the habit of that. And, yeah. and luckily I have a partner who's also on board with it too, because yeah. it needs to be a, a dual effort right. because it, it, there is sacrifices sometimes yeah. when it, because yeah. you're, you're just not going and filling up with gas, right? Yeah. It, it, it takes a little bit longer if you've got to charge. And also, uh, if you're not able to charge at home. Yeah. Absolutely. That's that's, the, the, that, that's another thing too. If you're not able to charge at home, how do you charge? Is there a local charging station where you can go? Right. Uh, luckily, we have a charging station at home, and, and then that's here, awesome. And, and that's here. awesome. And then I think in terms of like we say, you know, it's like an amazing car that's you just want to buy this car, but it happens to be electric. But also, you know, there's all the same all the safety features that you would care as about as a parent. You have three kids. I have two kids. Right. So. Um, 
the uh, Lyric has full Google compatibility. This is another thing with all these new cars coming out. So There's it has, so much tech it has I know, Google Pl access to Google Play, Google Assistant, Google Maps. So you have lots of hands-free help, right? And access to live traffic updates and all your favorite apps and all of that. Um, there is front pedestrian braking as well with bicyclist detection. So if you're if you're doing your road trip in an urban area where there's lots of cyclists, yeah. that helps. And then this the LED display is like 33 inches, so you can see your maps. Like it's very easy to you know follow directions. And I, I fear getting lost in the car with kids. Like getting lost is one thing, but getting lost when all your kids are. In the how back. old are your kids? <laughs> Mine are seven and seven, 11. Are they still asking how much longer till oh, we yeah. get there? Yeah, they do. Okay, they so do. yeah, because like we get on the road and it's like 15 minutes in, and how much longer we get there? And right. like we go to Ottawa a lot, we're just like, ah, okay. uh, like another like three and a half hours. I so know. those I conversations know. are going to be coming. But, okay. But, yes. We do, we do have to go, but these are all, okay. this, is a, this is a good conversation because I think that's what you need to do as families or friends or tap into people that, with EVs and if it's yes. something that you do want to yes. do. Yes. Um, <laughs> big Chen. Yeah. Cool. That's Morning Live for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.